Sports by Dan Martin. For the first time on Wednesday, Derek Jeter wore a jersey that didn't belong to the Yankees. A day after being elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame, Jeter put on the off-white jersey with Hall of Fame on the front that's given to all players headed to Cooperstown. This is special all on its own, Jeter said when asked to compare getting into the Hall and winning five World Series titles. It doesn't get any better than this. There's no more awards, no other place you can go. This is it. This is as good as it gets. But even then, the Marlins CEO made it clear his heart is still in the Bronx. Asked what he was most proud of in his two-decade career as a major leaguer, Jeter said, I'm most proud I was a Yankee. It's all I ever wanted to do, ever since I could remember, was play shortstop for the New York Yankees. I had an opportunity to do that. I had an opportunity to do it for a long time. Jeter, alongside fellow 2020 inductee Larry Walker, reminisced about his career during a press conference at the St. Regis Hotel in Midtown after falling one vote short of joining former teammate Mariano Rivera as the only players voted into Cooperstown unanimously. Even without 100% of the vote, Jeter was excited to be following Rivera into the Hall of Fame a year later, and to learn his plaque would hang alongside Rivera's when he's inducted in July. That's news to me, said Jeter, who checked with Hall of Fame officials to make sure the location was accurate before answering the question. That's awesome, Jeter said. It's an honor for me to be in the Hall of Fame. I don't care where they put me. They can put me in the restroom. But being next to Mo is quite a thrill. And it's their latest connection in their long intertwined careers. Me and Mo, I've known him since I was 18 years old, Jeter said. We've been through quite a bit together. He was arguably the greatest relief pitcher in the history of the game. We wouldn't have all these championships if it wasn't for him, because he was basically automatic. It wasn't always that way, as Jeter recalled Wednesday, much to the astonishment of Walker, when he mentioned being sent down to the minors with Rivera after a win over the Mariners on June 11, 1995. He had a bad game and they sent us both down, Jeter said with a laugh. I can thank Mariano for getting demoted the only time in my professional career. You laugh now, but we were crying, at the time. Rivera made it back to the majors a few weeks later. Jeter didn't return until September, but went on to win Rookie of the Year in 1996, as the Yankees won their first of four World Series titles in five years. Nearly a quarter of a century later, Jeter's next stop is Cooperstown. This is something that's not a part of the dream when you play, Jeter said. When you play, you're just trying to keep your job. That's first and foremost. You're trying to compete and win. Now, he's on to the next phase of his career, which includes talking about being a Hall of Famer, something he forbade his friends and family from asking him about for fear of jinxing it. I always had a tough time appreciating the journey along the way, Jeter said. My parents always told me, you have to sit back and enjoy the moment, I was just never able to do it. I don't know if that's a character flaw or part of the reason I'm here. Even when my career was over, I really haven't had the opportunity to sit back. I think maybe that starts now. See odds.